But just because of the timing and I knew that he was waiting for it. I dropped my uh, goblin gang. There you go, the lightning. He lightnings, three step goblins. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe. That's just how it goes, guess I like the Yo guys, Surgical Goblin here and welcome to this new video. Um, I'm really sorry, I mean, I, I just recorded an episode of True Life Battles with this deck, the Goblin Gang deck. Um, uh, I, <laughs> I recorded it all, it went very well, as you can see, I won three times with it, my Goblin Gang is level 5. Uh, I will definitely do two more life battles now, I'm in a grand challenge, uh, as you can see. But I do want to show, I mean, it's really unfortunate because it was live and I was doing really good, especially with commentating and stuff. Um, I will show one replay. First, I will go over the deck because, I mean, I, I just said it, but you guys didn't see that, of course. Uh, it's definitely a fault of me. I'm, I'm not sure what, what went wrong. But I will go over the deck real quick. So, as you can see, it's a 3.0 Hawk deck. It has Goblin Gang uh, in it as well. That's a very new card. I think it got released, like, uh, a few hours ago. And the Princess, the Goblin Barrel, um, that synergy with those three cards is really key because everyone is uh, nowadays, if they have it, they, everyone is um, yeah, carrying lock with them. So you can uh, bait out the lock or try to bait out the lock with, for example, the Princess. If they are smart, they will not use it on the Princess. If they uh, know I have a Goblin Barrel, they will say, uh, keep it for the Goblin Barrel. But let's say they do uh, lock my Princess. I can go with a whole card, a Goblin Barrel or uh, Ice Spirit Goblin Barrel combination and those can deal a ton of damage. Goblin Gang, like I, I just played 3 live battles uh, with it, not sort of live, um, I mean because the recording is gone. But it's still, uh, I think it's a pretty cool card, interesting card because it's very new of course. So you still have to test it out on how to use it in defense uh, etc. But I want to show one, one replay which was absolutely insane. I mean... My reaction live was was really nice. So I, I mean, um, I, I know what's coming right now, but when I did it live, my reaction was was even crazier. So I will do it on two times speed until um, some crazy moments. I I think I can remember them, but you you guys will definitely like this replay. Unfort as I said, unfortunate that it has to be a replay, but I can't do uh, I can't do much about it. So. Um, just try to pay attention to the gameplay at this moment. I mean, it's first a Lava Loom player, uh, a pretty good Lava Loom player in my opinion. Uh, I have a Tesla Tower instead of an Inferno to keep the cycle going. And because of the Princess, uh, the Princess is really popular. I went with a Hawk Rider on the other lane just so he's forced to defend over there. Uh, I could get some good amount of damage in. He did a good amount of damage. Uh, we are leading and he just wastes his arrows. Time for the Goblin Barrel. There it goes. Doing some good. I think that was like 500 damage just because he wasted his arrows onto the princess. Um, here, uh, oh wow, I was a bit too late, but as you see, uh, as you saw, a really nice look prediction because I, I, I could keep track of his cycle life. Um, I think I, I will go with a goblin barrel again. He does have arrows for this, so I'll drop my goblin, uh, goblin gang defensive with a fireball. He does get a balloon on tower just because the ice spirit didn't freeze the balloon. Uh, as you can see, he lightninged as well. From now on, I will do it uh, one time speed. I lock his uh, scar me because I knew he had it, and I take down the tower with one goblin. Uh, he will. I will drop my defensive princess. He will arrow this. But guys. Um, from now, I will put it on uh, half <laughs> half speed, just because it's so insane. I know that he has lightning. I was trying to keep track of his elixir. I mean, I, I didn't really know, but just because of the timing, and I knew that he was waiting for it. I dropped my uh, goblin gang. There you go, the lightning. He lightnings, three-step goblins, and that was successful. Like, my reaction live was insane, guys. I, I was so happy that uh, we did it. We won with 22 HP. So unfortunate that um, the recordings messed up. But still, guys, I will do live battles for you all for sure. I, I, I just, I would just re, uh, redo the whole thing, of course. I mean, I, I do want to bring a video. Um, I, I just had some successful battles, so uh, why, why not go on? So, um, yeah, I, I already showed the deck, and as I said, I'm three zero right now. So let's just go for another battle, and you guys can see some live action. So I mean, I, I was thinking about going over the replays, but live live battles are way more fun in my opinion. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. 
So let's start with the princess up high to either get a uh, good chip in. Wow, he does the same thing and he gives a, and he gives us a good lock. I'm not sure if I should take that. I mean, it's a good trade, but he might punish us with... Yeah, there it is, the goblin uh, barrel. But, oh wow, he placed it on the back and the goblin gang really... Like, it's an even trade and he still uh, is forced to defend that. If he uses his lock there, there you go, he uses his lock. I can go with a goblin barrel and the hook rider is still... Wow, the Hulk Rider got two hits in, and the Goblin or the Goblin Barrel is doing good amount of damage now. Um, I'm not sure how to respond to this. I think I will uh, look, or no, I will actually just Ice Spirit here, and then I will drop a Goblin Gang to kill the Princess. I will uh, save the lock for his Goblin Barrel just because I think that's his main damage dealer. But we'll see. Um, the princess. Oh, I was about to say, princess. Please, could you uh, shoot the skeletons? But we can, we can do this. Uh, we can counter it uh, like this as well. So the hook rider is locked on the tower now. Uh, we saved our lock for the goblin barrel. There you go. He's. I think he was expecting. Um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, the goblin gang. I think he expected that. That's why he locked. But definitely a mistake by him. We can punish him with the goblin barrel now. Let's try to uh, keep the princess alive. We can keep the princess alive. That should be able to kill the Skarmy. Um, no, I, I was about to say maybe even the princess. But we will just drop the Tesla. That's also why I think Tesla is... Uh, I mean, it, it also keeps the average elixirs low. But I think Tesla is also good against like um, princess, etc. So that's also why I put it in there. And just to test it out as well. There's also a bit of a test deck. But so far, as I just said, like I'm doing really good with it. I also had that crazy uh, lightning prediction uh, again he uses his look uh, i think he has scar me again in cycle maybe he has to drop yeah he definitely has scar me in cycle now so let's try to um uh, let's see what the, uh, yeah i will definitely go with a prediction fireball onto the scar me uh, I hope that is successful. No, it wasn't. It. I mean, I, I'm still doing tower damage, and he even dropped this inferno. Bit of overcommitment by him, but so far, like I think I can just sit back, guys. Um, it looks like he's going with another goblin barrel. I would just lock that. Um, I'll drop a Tesla up high. Um, there you go. It is in range. Well placed. Um, how do you call it? A knight there. Uh, let's see, he's, he's, he's committing a lot of elixir now. Oh, that's a bad, bad uh, goblin gang placement by me. Uh, I will just lock here right now. And I will try to hit this goblin barrel as well. Just because that is his, as I said in the beginning, that is his main DPS dealer. And uh, it should be GG. We could even fireball his princess. Uh, yeah, that's definitely GG. Let's give him the good game and the thumbs up. So... And the thumbs up. Uh, so uh, what I want to say is, so as you guys can see, I'm doing really good with just uh, with this deck, just because you can punish your opponent really hard if they, as I said, if they use their lock on the princess, or uh, if they try to predict the goblin gang or whatever. It's it's a really good deck in my opinion, especially because it's so cheap. You can even outcycle your opponent. Let's say he has an inferno tower. You can uh, outcycle his inferno tower because a fireball won't do much against the inferno. Uh, I will again start with the Prince of High just to chip away and to uh, either bait out the lock or yeah, there you go, he locks. So let's try to go with a, wow, he even pumps up. I think this will do a lot of damage, guys. He's definitely low on Elixir and he gives us a really good fireball. We'll definitely take that. Uh, I think that's even tower. Let's see. Yeah, th there goes his tower down into the first push, baiting out a lock and then... Um, Go with a Goblin Barrel Hawk Rider push. You can even drop your Ice Spirit. Or you, you can drop your Goblin Barrel. Then uh, quick drop your Ice Spirit. And the tower will lock on the Ice Spirit. And as you can see. If he doesn't do anything. I will show that now. If he doesn't do anything to your Ice Spirit. It will jump on the tower. And freeze it for 1.5 seconds. Just a quick tip. To get um, a few more steps in. If he just wasted his lock. And you're sure that he doesn't have an answer. Uh, let's drop a Tesla right now. Um. I hope the baby dragon will lock on the Tesla, which it doesn't. I will drop my goblin gang over here right now. And the baby dragon will deal solid solid amount of damage. I hope... Um, no, I was about to say, I hope some um, some spear goblins will live, but it, it looks like it won't. Um, I don't think... No, he doesn't have lock in cycle, so I will drop it onto the uh, elixir collector. Uh, I will drop my hook in the middle. I will drop an ice spirit as well. Let's see if that's, that can do a solid amount of damage. Um, it looks like it won't. I mean, we did a good amount of damage versus his collector or on his collector. But other than that, not really... Um, not, that, um, uh, not that much damage. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus at the same time. It's kind of hard sometimes. But so far, I'm doing a good job, I think. 
But um, let's try to go with a Goblin Barrel soon again. I mean, he has a collector and it's kind of annoying. But so far, I mean, we took his tower. Uh, I think this can deal a lot of damage if we uh, can get the Hawk Rider to tank. Uh, we can get the Hawk Rider to tank. So it looks like, yeah, that will deal a solid amount of damage. Um, he's going with a Giant now. Well plays Giant. Um, I kind of have to go with a Goblin Gang here just because I want the Tesla Tower to live. Um... Oh, it's unfortunate that the, the left tower doesn't kill or doesn't hit the giant. But he just wasted this lock again. I think we can punish him again. Like, as I said, this deck is all about punishing. Uh, it's a really cheap deck. Wow, we couldn't even drop or we we could drop our... I was about to say we couldn't even drop our hook right in time. Let's get one more hit. There you go. We got one more hit. Um, If we can just cycle... Uh, if we can defend 20 seconds and cycle back to a fireball, a fireball does kill it. So let's try to defend right now. Um, there you go. We already have fireball in hand. It's just all about defending now. 10 seconds. Our fireball right now. 6 seconds. I hope we are on time. 5 seconds guys. The mini P.E.K.K.A didn't make it. And it looks like the G GG. Definitely good game. That was actually pretty close at the end. He had 2 giants there. And a musketeer. But... Um, as I said, like if he if he wastes his lock, he should have just kept it for the goblin barrel, and then I think he would have won. I'm not sure about the time. Let's see how long. I'm I'm 10 minutes into the recording. I think we can do one more live battle, guys. Let's just do it. I'm really successful so far. Um, let's see if we face any other good decks or maybe a matchup you guys want to see with this deck. I think it's a pretty cool uh pretty cool deck in my opinion. Again, we start with the princess, so I will just drop it at high. I will I, I will basically always drop it at high just because you will definitely get a shot. And interesting, he's running tornado, but he just wasted onto the. Um, Onto the princess, so our our hawk rider has a free path right now, and he also drops a furnace. Let's fireball that. Uh, I will try to surround the um, surround the how do you call it? the executioner, and yeah, he he did get uh, one swing in with the executioner, but we dealt over one thousand damage on the left side. So oh, he has a mirror as well. Interesting. I'll drop my ice spirit, and that will deal. Wow, that will deal so much damage. I think yeah, that dealt a lot of damage. Well played by him. So maybe he's running the uh, the mirror spam deck with the with he's he used this look with the rocket and the um, and the skarmy as well. So I kind of want to go with the goblin barrel and the hawk rider combination now. But I know that he is skarmy. I mean I would just go for it anyways. But I think he can counter it really really well. I might uh might even drop my locker. Oh he he goes with an executioner or uh, with a tornado executioner combination. Well played. But my hawk rider still get two hits uh, gets two hits in. So I think we'll yeah we will definitely counter this with the Tesla. Um I will also show you a trick right now just a, a small mechanic. Uh, mechanic. If you drop the ice spirit on time, it will tank for one uh, fire spirits. Uh, fire spirit, and it will also kill the next round, as you just saw. Let's say your um, well, I will fireball this for sure. Let's say you have to uh, you have to stop the furnace, but you only have fire spirits uh, or ice spirit. I mean, f to answer the fire spirits, um, definitely do that. And as you can see, I even have another fire spirit. Well played by him with uh, the scar me. But as you can see, I even have another fire ice spirit. You can uh, see it again. Pay attention. There you go. The ice spirit is walking. It will also kill the next round. If you didn't know that, let me know in the comments. Um, I will fireball the executioner just to get damage in. I hope that kills it. Um, it almost kills it. Uh, I expect a goblin barrel soon. I would just drop my look or uh, I would drop my, my own or... Wow, guys, sorry, I'm, I'm focusing and I'll, I'm trying to commentate at the same time. And even uh, and I'm uh, even lagging a bit. But his tower is down to 634. He's trying to trick us right now. You can uh, watch the shadow of the goblin barrel to see if he's trying to trick you. Or if it's uh, um, a goblin barrel straight onto the tower. Let's fireball again. And two more fireballs and we can take down the tower. Um... I hope he would use his lock onto my princess. It doesn't look like it. And even one spear goblin is going ham on the on the furnace over there, as you can see. Pretty funny. But I will I will just drop um, another hawk rider. Uh, I think we can cycle. I do have to defend this, of course. Uh, I can just cycle fireballs at this moment. I think, guys. I mean, one more fireball. It should be GG. Let's drop a princess. Everything uh, which which is a bit low uh, low cost. So let's just drop uh, a goblin barrel here. He misses the. Let's drop this, and uh, there you go. We cycle back to a fireball. So, good game, uh, well played, and thumbs up. That was a pretty close game. 
but we, we, uh, it was key to save our lock and fireball to defend his mirror goblin barrels for positive elixir traits and to um, negate his damage dealer from dealing damage actually he, he had fireball interesting normally this deck has rocket so interesting variation but as you guys can see i'm doing really good goblin i have by the way i would i have the goblin gang level 5 by the way i didn't buy the pack just because i think it's not worth it for the 100 gems i rather um I, i'd rather do a grand challenge run but this was the episode guys as always feel free to copy it and um, please don't don't forget to leave some support i always read my comments and i appreciate all the support uh, from you all like we are growing really uh, really fast uh, lately i think i have over 55k um, subs now there will also be an episode with subscribers this weekend so stay tuned for that and uh, as, as always don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you in one of my next videos bye